Okay, so I changed some settings in OBS. I stopped using some stuff. So we'll see how this works. Um, you're gonna see it's a little bit lower quality. Um, we are hoping that that is gonna take care of some of the overheating issues because my computer is a piece of shit. Hey, if anyone is watching and wants to send me a computer. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'll, I will, I'll, I'll run a Firebrands game just for you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that is really good, Dealer Umbra. That's really good. Okay, so what I was about to say before I have to refresh Roll20. Okay, great. Thanks, Roll20. <clears throat> I remember I, Kelsa had just finished her solitaire scene, and um, I think we both were Michael and I were both about to start and then my computer was like you know what? I'm just gonna die for a minute I'll be right back um but why don't you go ahead and go Michael <clears throat> Kelsa what are you doing Okay. So my scene is, um, it opens on a slow pan up of Vlad Morovic. Like, <clears throat> and then as it's panning up, you can also see all of Mishka's, um, trained guards behind her in similar, but not quite as nice mechs, um, standing in formation. And, um, it pans up to the cockpit and you see like some things light up on the like the little visor face thing because it's like probably like like almost whale shaped in that it's like got a very round dome like head but then like on a body and um you see <clears throat> <laughs> and you see her like tap some things on the screen and it zeroes in on this um landowner shipment and how it doesn't have very many uh, guards. The escort on it is very small. And then she um, turns on her comms and says, all right, move out. And yeah, so that's my scene. <laughs> Whether or not it's um, Lieutenant Kim Burley's guarded thing is gonna be left up in the air. Say something on the, uh, say something, I'm gonna... Mm. 
<clears throat> Hold on one one second. One second. Hmm. Oh, I see the issue. I see the issue. Hold on. Hair, I can't tell the difference. It's great. <laughs> it's the only difference. <laughs> Should be yeah. solved. Sorry. Can okay. <clears throat> so, Michael, you're probably going to have to do your solitaire again. Oh, yeah. I, I impaled a labor. I impaled a guard mech at some band fresh outpost. Okay. It's not that Sounds good. <laughs> um, so, I'm playing playing cards, poker with some people. I push all in. My opponent pushes all in and slams down a, a mech license. And. Uh, yeah, he, he flips over, and he has uh, a flush, and I smirk and flip over a royal flush and take the take the chips, and then it flashes to, like, a warehouse, and uh, you can see my mech in the corner, which is, like, a, a refitted, repurposed welding mech fitted for battle, and then a crane coming in with the mech I just won for... <laughs> For, uh, Do we one pan of my out to see like a hundred other mechs that you've won that you just keep using your <laughs> shitty one? I think, I think there's only like six mechs maybe, but most of them are um, for parts. Mm. So there's only maybe two, two or three that are full and functional. Mm. But Sweet. this one, this one's getting like retrofitted and armored, and maybe it's a uh, one of the um, what's the what's the resource called? The unobtainium stuff. Yeah, the bantrofil. <laughs> Crystal bantrofil. Crystal bantrofil. bantrofil. Maybe it's one of the uh, one of the drill mechs, like one of the mining things. So it's got like drill arms, and it's just getting retrofitted and looking badass mm -hmm. for one of my crew. And then we maybe it's like a pan up, and I'm smirking, and then it like does like the wipe to the next scene. Awesome. I've got a drink, like got my flask in my hand, and just take a sip. Ah. Uh love it um does anyone have an idea for the first scene they want to do i know what scene kelso always likes to do i know it's a dance <laughs> uh i um, do love starting with a dance but i'm willing to start wherever anybody else wants to start uh is there so, a limit on the number of people that can be in a conversation over food i don't no. believe so and um i'm gonna explain how firebrands is played because we haven't done that yet that's so. weird <laughs> What, explaining things? <laughs> explaining things. <laughs> so the way the game is played, and as you can see on the overlay, kind of down in the uh, the bottom left of your screen, those are the different games that we are going to be playing in this game. And the way that it works, I'll go and pull up a conversation over food, because that sounds like that could be interesting, mm -hmm. is um, there's different ways to set it up, and different players play in them, if it makes sense for them to be in the scene. And then you can have, like, the, this gives you topical questions that you ask, and you play kind of back and forth asking questions or until you pass, and then the meal's over. So it's just kind of like a guideline on how to frame the scene and why these people might be together is my way I'm going to explain it. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of... I know it's a little bit of a cliche, but I like the idea of uh, of like all or some of the characters just happening on each other, like while they're out doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I like the idea of like like everyone bumping into ev not not maybe not everybody, but everybody who wants to bumping into each other at like a food truck or something like that. <laughs> That would like a, be pretty funny. A band trash beer garden kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, no, no, or like a or like a small bar. Mm -hmm. or, or like a like a like a restaurant maybe maybe actually maybe like a maybe like a nice ish restaurant works mm -hmm. honestly um, i like the idea of like you know those korean like food tents that they set up mm. where like people like eat like the fried food and have like the beer and stuff yeah and, yeah. and they just kind of like set them up on the street i like the idea of that if everyone's down i'm yeah, i'm down for, sure. for that i'm down for that uh, so, okay, so Michael, since this is your game, um, 
who are you eating with? Um, who are you eating? You pick one person as your partner, and then other people can join if it makes sense for them to be there. My computer is still getting kind of warm, you guys. Just warning, we may drop off again. So we'll probably okay. do this game, and then we'll go to break. And then... Let it cool down. I might, like, pause the call, because that's taking up a lot of resources for me. I think, like, running the stream and being in the Zoom call at the same time is a little too much for my baby. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's do, um... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do, uh... Uh... Mishra. Mishka. Ooh, okay. So, Mishka. how did we come to be eating together? I like the idea that it's an accident. <laughs> I, I, I think it... I think it totally is. And it's... I think this... I think this is my day job. <gasps> Ooh. So, like, you're this on is my break day... and you, like, are just... Like, I think this is my day job, and I'm like, I'm like wearing like the like fast food food tent uniform, and I have on like an apron, and my hair is like all a mess. I'm just like, I'm like sitting there smoking a cigarette and like. Eating. And then I come in, and you're like, "What the frick is a noble doing here?" But you yeah, know what? I like I like the beer and the chicken. You guys do really good, ch like for, like. Yeah. Chicken and maybe I've seen you in here before, and we've just like never actually had a conversation. Okay. Totally. Um, anybody oh. else who wants to show up as well can. Yes, if yeah, it makes I'm, sense here. I, I get hungry. <laughs> I get hungry. And does, <laughs> our, does our alcoholic get hungry? <laughs> or do you subsist on beer alone? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm mostly, mostly a liquid diet, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you could be there drinking. If there's fried food and alcohol there, dog. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, it's, like, it's like stir fry, yeah. Yeah, totally. So she's like, so she's like eating from like a bowl. Okay. Um, let me pull up the questions real quick. And I feel like the what do you notice about each other? What have you heard? We kind of already talked about that because we were really open about our solitaire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think um, we can skip that part. Yeah, totally. I, I just kind of look like a mess. <clears throat> I look a little bit like out of it. Like I was maybe like I was up all night. Hmm. I I see Mishka. Um, she probably has like longer blonde hair pulled back into a very severe ponytail, and you can't mm -hmm. tell how much gray is in it because she's so blonde. But mm -hmm. she's like, she's like a milf, you know. Like she's an attractive yeah, exactly. lady. She's got her black flight suit um, stripped down to the waist and kind of belted around her waist. She's probably decently. Why do built. I feel like if why do I feel like even your camisole looks really expensive and attractive that you're like wearing under your flight suit? <laughs> Perfect. But like she doesn't look like a noble, but like there's just a bearing about her that like she is someone who has been born in command. Mhm. Mm uh um, so I I asked the first question, correct? Oh, um, let's check. Uh, I do believe you have the lowest social standing out of any of us. So <laughs> yes. So yes, uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna open with I make a social or diplomatic blunder. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm like I'm like eating and I'm just like. So. What is uh, what is what is noble doing in in noodle shop? Like eating eating with the chopsticks and kind of speaking in between bites. <laughs> just just or like, oh. yeah. I'm not like a great and I'm not like a graceful eater. <laughs> I'm just like put <laughs> calories into body. <laughs> I think um, I'm gonna go with the do you let me recover gracefully option, but. I think rather than letting you recover gracefully, I kind of like get down to your level. Like I sit with like the chair back in front of me, like very mm -hmm. casually. And um, I have my own bowl of noodles and um, I take a shot of like the, like the rice vodka or whatever. Yeah. And I say, nobles like noodles too. Nobles like noodles. This is news to me. <laughs> is 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 joke? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, is joke? Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember the order of operations for this. One. Um. Then you get to ask me a question, right? Noobles. 
<laughs> Noobles. <laughs> Noobles. <laughs> that's, that's another. That's another umbraism. So good. Um, Never had noobles before. <laughs> so I can either ask a question or we can establish how Doc and yeah. uh, Kim are in this scene. I think Doc is in the background. Like if it's if it's got the camera shot, like this this conversation's happening, and I'm on like you see my back to the bar with like one bowl, mm -hmm. like one bowl already finished, and I'm kind of like eating another, but there's like. Like a three dozen, or four bottles. <laughs> a, like a dozen glasses empty beside me, and I've still got like two full, and I'm just like, you just see me like grab one and just down it from the back. What, how do you how do you feel about, do we get like a look on your face when your fellow revolutionary is talking to this woman who's obviously a noble? Do you guys seems, know each other? I don't think I know you yet. Okay, fair enough. Like when we meet each other, maybe it'll all click a little bit, but right now I'm just like, <clears throat> um, actually, I feel like it would be more interesting if we did know each other, um, mm. but that's just me. Maybe, maybe like, wasn't when I'm drinking and I hear your voice, I kind of like put the glass down. I'm like, dang, what's your name? Petra Zaranev. <laughs> hey, and then I just like, turn around and you see like, you see like <laughs> me putting putting a little um, capsule in my in my coat like my leather coat pocket I'm like uh -huh. what the hell get over here or just uh -huh. like i i just like i just like grab my bowl and like two other glasses by the top like this and just like <laughs> drag them over to your table and so you say down. get over here and then you come to us yeah i'm like get over here I'm like never mind i'll just go ah <laughs> uh, um i'm sorry i I have not introduced myself. Uh, I am Petra. This is Doc. And then, like, he just, like, <laughs> he's also, like, eating while he's talking, and he, like, straps his hand out for Mishka to shake. And it's, like, and, like covered in, like, bar Korean barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, all Korean. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> um, I shake your hand very forcefully. Like, I think it's, like, with a surprising, like, a, not like a Donald Trump handshake, but it's just oh, like... Oh, you know, with hands so small, they can't even, like, wrap around. Oh, gosh. <laughs> a little bit of the Korean barbecue sauce squishes out between our palms. Yes, because it's, like, a very, it's, like, a it's a hard handshake. And, and like, oh! I, I say, nice! Mishka. God, the manga of this would be amazing. Because <laughs> there would be that focus of the hand and, like, the, the barbecue sauce squishing, and then it would be, like, a close-up of my eyes, and I say, Mishka. Yeah. And then there's a close up of my eyes that are just kind of like wide and then the pupils dilate a little bit. I'm like, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Doc, something gives you a way to me. What is it? Um, you're a band trash, right? Yes. Maybe you can see like if, if band trash kind of like has a has a patch or a crest that they wear on their jackets. You can okay. see the out, you see the outline of I, where I tore a patch off my jacket, and it's in the mm. shape of a bantrash patch. I say, oh, you have there in jacket. She'll get that fix. Hmm. In my line of work, you know, things get broke. I try to fix them. Take a drink. He's good at fixing things. Um. I'm gonna say, huh? Um, well, I I think that this is when you all notice that uh, Lieutenant Kim Burley is here as well. Um, she is wearing her um, PTA issued uniform, um, which are you are you like a renowned enough my, soldier that we would recognize you? Um, maybe she looks very unique. If you if you check out Twitter, I just posted a picture of uh, my, my myself cosplaying as this character. I'm Ooh. going to Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I told you I stole this character from myself. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, post a link in chat real quick. <laughs> Actually, I can just go can. exclamation point Kelsa. You can. Nice. So. Uh, she, uh, her, her left arm is, um, replaced from, from the elbow up with a cybernetic arm. She often wears a glove to cover up the cybernetics because it is not, um, 
They're not pretty. There's no, there's no like fake flesh that goes over it. It's like mechanical. It's, it's the bare bone cybernetics. Um, and she's got a plate in the side of her head where part of her brain has been um, cyberneticized. Um, some people say that it's so that she can better interf- interface with her mech, and some people say that it was uh, after she nearly died on a previous deployment. And uh, the truth is, it's a little bit of both. Um, and mm-hmm. so uh, she's she's sitting there. Um, she's not eating noodles. Like she's she's ordered like everything except the noodles. It's like it's like broth with like meat and uh and uh cabbage and uh like onions and spinach and everything you would expect to be in some nice uh noodle soup except the noodles themselves Uh, lots of seaweed um Mm -hmm. and so she's she's sitting there she's eating and she's been kind of paying attention to um, the conversations that are, uh, are going on around her. Um, uh, I think, I think something immediately gives me a way to Kimber. Kim. Something. Something gives me a way to Kim. What is it? Something gives you a way. Um, well, she's been carefully watching everything. Uh-huh. And I think there's some kind of like rebel iconography like mm-hmm. uh like a marking on on the door or like on the like the price board or something that mm-hmm. basically is like a giveaway like this is a, a safe place for rebels yeah yeah and like uh someone comes in and she watches you just like make a very subtle gesture towards the wherever that that symbol is located uh-huh. as like a uh you're in the right place kind of motion but like kim picks up on that yeah i like, think it's a i think it's a um i imagine it's sort of like a uh like a like a single like like character almost like a mm-hmm. single chinese mm-hmm. character or a korean character that mm-hmm. doesn't really make sense out of context it's just like someone put like a like a like a backwards d on the board and it doesn't make sense but if you know what you're looking for it makes sense Mm -hmm. uh and i think when i'm like when i like make the gesture you see that on the inside of this finger i have the same symbol yeah yeah i have the same symbol and then i like cover my finger and then i cover my finger again with it's like covered by a ring and i just slip the ring out of the way so they can see it and then slip it back yeah um and i i think like she's so kim kind of moves herself over to where this this other conversation is going on between uh mishka and uh doc mayday Mm -hmm. and uh she comes and sits down and like i I picture you guys were like at the bar yeah we're i was thinking we were at the bar Mm -hmm. and like she'd been sitting at a table and so she Mm -hmm. comes up to the bar obscenely to order a drink and she she like leans over and she's like i need a refill um and gets get the bar or gets a yeah, bar geez gets a it's beer, a, it's a beer. <laughs> she gets, she gets the whole bar the <laughs> whole bar i'm gonna take it with me and i just like whistle uh, and take my hat off <laughs> so doc doc mayday i want to find some common ground with you about the beer they serve here is there any do you like their beer here or are you just here to get drunk like, do you ask me how's how's the drinks here? Like, she's sipping on the beer and she sees that you have one as well, and she's mm-hmm. like, "They have pretty good beer here, don't you think?" I mean, it'll do the job, miss. If you'd like something nice, I take out my flask, like pour a little this. I'm just like, I I like yeah. pour a little splash in my drink and then give it to you. To, I'll I'll to take it and, and do the same. Yeah. Why do I imagine this is like Thanks. the Everclear we use to clean the instruments <laughs> on the mechs? It's very, maybe close. <laughs> it's just like yeah, 98% she... alcohol. <laughs> well, it's 98%, but it's also spiced. Like it's got some spices from... It's like 98% alcohol and the rest is spicy molasses. 
pretty yeah, much she, like she's it, like it burns all the way down but it's a burn so good kind of thing it's a smooth she, she she manages to not make any uh any face as she she drinks it um mm-hmm. and it's like yeah this will do the trick mm-hmm when I see your face, I kind of laugh and be like, it's an acquired taste. If you do a couple more of those, you'll you'll be addicted. You won't be able to stop. <laughs> uh. So I think I overhear this conversation about the alcohol and I get kind of excited. Um, not because I'm like a booze hound or anything, but I go, oh, that is right. Polonskova having big party celebrating bicentennial everyone is coming yes i hope to convince you all to come to my bicentennial celebration can i uh, <laughs> is it, is it I, I think i think petra i think petra tries to like play it off so mm-hmm. she's like we'll have to work and um Got got lots of things to do but if i happen to have free time you know maybe is going to be good party. I'm sh- with, with you running it. I'm sure it will be. So the it- offer is to everybody. Yeah, I am outreaching to everybody. I want to throw a big old bash, and she just wants to throw a rager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised and honored you would invite someone such as myself. I'll make time for it. Well, as you know. Need good relations between people of Banthrol, people working for landowners. You should come. It would be good to have Lieutenant there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think as uh, uh, I keep on forgetting, as Petra is like kind of like, oh, I'm kind of busy. I'm just like nonsense, Petra. Come on, we haven't seen each other in forever. Let's go party. <laughs> Well, I kind of like slap, slap my hand on your shoulder because like we, maybe I like, it's it's probably like a little bit harder than she was expecting. She like ah, like accidentally <laughs> five star. Her. It's like, like sorry, oh, Doc. let me make it up to you. I'll buy a drink, and I'll buy something nice for the party. You in? I just want a huge Doc with a face like that. Like who could I say no? Um, <laughs> Close up. Close up on his face, and Doc Mady is not attractive at all. He's like, <laughs> I think that's exactly <laughs> the point. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's charming, but he's not. He's not. He's got like a, a solid four, four and a half. The, uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I think I think. Uh... How do you end the scene? I'm sorry. I'm like how we to, like, end the scene by once everyone passes and talks about the food, or if it just mm-hmm. feels like it's over, we can say it's over. Mm-hmm. I think that would be a cool thing to like kind of fade out on, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm, that's, I'm fine I with think that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so and I'm guessing you want to go right into a dance. Well, actually, I want to go right into our first break. Awesome. Good yeah. timing. Good timing. <laughs> because I just I need I need a minute. I need a minute, baby. <laughs> so we're gonna. We're going to go to our break screen. We'll be back in like five minutes. Hopefully that'll be some time for things to cool down and we'll see you then.